on board, you're aboard. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. She, she'll, yeah, I'll kill you right here, right now, if you even attempt to make a portal. Kirishima? Right. You think it's so funny to fuck with high school students? Well, we're not your ordinary high school students, now are we? You, yeah, you want to be heroes where heroes don't kill. I'm sure there are some heroes out there with some blood on their hands. All it means is that we join their ranks. Right, Katsuki? Mm-hmm. <coughs> where are any of you stopping her? As the remaining villains are both being apprehended by everyone else, but they are also looking on in horror. As for the other students, there is the same thing. Even Aizawa, he is pretty much wondering, should I stop this? But yeah, his resolve to allow them to do what they want only strengthens once he sees Izuku. Dead. But then, before Kirishima could deal with the final punch that would have ended Shigaraki, something's wrong, something happens in which she starts coughing and blood starts to spew. Her being able to let go of Shigaraki and Bakugo running in to help her. Giving Kogiri just enough time to make a portal for him and Shigaraki to leave. And yeah, the amount of pissed off that she did not get to avenge Izuku is, is an understatement. She wants revenge, she wants to help her. Oh no, wait, what about Inko and Izumi? What? But we're going to, have to tell them this. Oh, oh no, 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 no! If we tell them what happened, they're gonna. As this is when All Might shows up. So... Uh. Oh well. <sighs> I'm here, and I. Seeing the blade mess. Looking around at the sheer terrifying presence around in the room, villains defeated, some pass out through shock. What happened here? Him looking down and seeing Izuku's body. Like, why is he. Why is there a hole where his heart should be? Him just looking at everyone, seeing the expressions on their faces. No. He, he's. Then the gem on his nose starts to glow. As then a whole bunch of crystals just start to envelop his whole body, completely encasing him. But this just pisses off Kirishima and Bakugo thinking, what kind of sick joke is this? Did his court just give him a coffin to bury him in? So he really is. We saw his heart get disintegrated. Yeah. I... 
I am so sorry. I, uh, I can't believe this. He was, we know. But then, his oh my just picks up the crystal. He's, uh, don't worry, I'll give this to his mother and sister. And again, I'm very sorry this had to happen. It wouldn't have happened if we'd pay more attention. Upon Inko and Izumi seeing this, yeah, it's an understatement to say they're pissed. Izumi, especially, this is my fault. What? I used to tease him, I used to mess with him so much. Heck, I even shape shifted into him. From time to time, but no, this, this is this is not all right. So, yeah, Miss Miss Midoriya, no, I, I don't want. Her. I I don't. No parent wants to see their kid get hurt, especially not this. Bad hurt. Uh, he's don't. I know. As days go by, Mom, we have to bury him. No, no, we don't. But Mom, he's. He's not as then as Izuku and the crystal starts glowing. Wait, what's going on? Like, no, don't, don't tell me. It's like what? Everyone is looking at uh, Koski. Is this normal? No. As soon as the glowing stops, you see Izuku's wound completely healed. Him open his eyes and break out of the crystal. I. Huh? What the? I. Everyone looking and did. Tackle his ass, saying, We thought you were dead. It's like, Wait, so I'm not dead? No! It's like, Wait, so you guys are alright? Yes! Well, we are now. We thought you were dead, dead. So, it, Ooh, thank goodness I. Mom said we ain't gonna bury you. What? Yeah, we were. I kept telling her it's time to bury you, but whoa. That would have been a terrible thing, wouldn't it? Mom. Thank you so much for deciding not to bury me. Oh my goodness, that would have. Oof. Alright. <sighs> Okay. Hmm? As Zuku looks and sees, like. Uh. Katsuki? Uh, Kirishima. Hi. Uh. As, yeah, they're just crying. Holding on to him, not letting him go. Him finding it kind of awkward, but he understands, considering the circumstances. I'm sorry. Don't you dare say that again. What? That you're not strong enough. Uh, but I... Shut up. You idiot. Uh, idiot? Yeah, you're not allowed to do that ever again. 
but I, I didn't mean for that to happen, we know, but still, you're not allowed to do it ever again. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. I suppose I can try to, you know, not get a hole in my chest again. Um, but it's going to take a lot of training for me to... Wait, does anyone else know about my, you know... Oh. Oh, dear. As, yeah, when it came out that a student died in 1A, the media tore you a... A new one. So, for them to be you know like, yeah, I'm not dead. Yeah, there were a lot of apologies going around, but mostly on Izuku's part. Where it was like, he didn't know his quirk could do that. He didn't know he was that powerful. Is yeah, his next meeting is with. Recovery girl. She's. A, there's not even a scar. I mean, there are some different weird patterns when it comes to your clothing, but still. My clothing? Yeah, isn't that. No, this is my skin. What? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So it seems like you're. By, uh, if it does get enough damage, it will cause a, typically like a, a restart. But I remember everything. It's like, no, no, not that kind of, that's a reset. A restart is pretty much like, you know, you going back to your, you know, the last saved game or so. A reset is more like you wiping the whole hard drive and starting from scratch. I'm sure you're sure you, if it was a reset, you wouldn't be walking and talking right now. Probably even wearing a diaper. Yikes. So, my quirk is pretty strong. Oh, that is an understatement. You're, from what we can tell, you're the type of hero who could take life ending damage and get back up again as soon as you're you know healed but what can you tell me about yourself in that kind of stasis mm. it was weird uh, I couldn't see couldn't hear all I can do is wait Felt very weird. I I don't know how to really describe it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at the very least, you're all right now. Oh yeah, that that go that's a uh, goes without saying. Good. Now um. All you have to do is really worry about hmm, not doing that ever again. What? Oh yes, if you do that again, give us heart attacks, knowing that you. I didn't know I was gonna that any of that was gonna happen. Hmm. So you say, but we don't need any more heart attacks to be given. I'm busy enough as it is, kid. Yeah. Ugh. So, should we tell him about what happened? What? Oh, about us putting the pretty much smack down on villains? I thought you already knew. Not that. Uh-huh. You were coughing up blood again. No. 
We're not telling him that. He just got back. We just got him back. I am not risking anything. But what if it happens around him and he learns that we kept it a secret from him? It's going to cause him to worry a lot more. You have a point, but I, like you said, we just got him back, and I don't want anything ruining it. Is he finds out through us, or he's gonna find out on the battlefield? <sighs> yeah, yeah, you you do have a point, but there's never a real time to. Tell anyone that you, or at least your quirk is acting up. And this is all my quirk. Of course, there's going to be a few bugs or whatnot. Just. I'm just worried about him. Worried? He came back from the dead. He, he wasn't actually dead, he was just. Sleeping, yeah, without a heart. With a cold touch to skin. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. But do I have to tell him? Yes. Fine. But when we're alone, I'll tell him. Good. So, we're agreed. Yes, that I get to go on a date with him first. What? Wait, no, no, we already agreed. Later. As Kasuki's pissed, did I really fall for that crap? Did, did she really just... Is that why? Well, I, I regret feeling sorry for her. As soon as the day actually does start, Izuku, he's getting a lot of strange looks, especially from the crowd. Of, of, okay, why are these just staring at us? Then he just looks at Kirishima, who's blushing, as well as having a nervous smile on her face. Oh, that's why. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> it's because they see a... A lovely girl around my arm. Mm, no, that's not it. What? It's because you came back from the dead. You, honest to God, seem to be immortal with your quirk. <sighs> yeah. But that, I don't think I want that. What do you mean? I mean, staying alive this long, yeah, that's interesting and all, but I'll get lonely. Does this mean I'll, I'll live all of you? Especially you and Kotsky? Uh, wow, I never thought of it like that. Like... What will it be like without you guys? As the moment gets almost ruined by someone just pointing and like, Is that immortal? Wait, what? You're immortal, aren't you? I, I don't know. You came back from the dead. Yeah, I did do that. So you're immortal. No, I... I mean, huh, I don't know. As soon as the date does start to end, she does let him know that for some reason the quirk seems to be working against her. He doesn't know why, she doesn't know why. So, did you tell All Might? He doesn't know either. 
he doesn't know why this is happening either. Man, so this could be a real problem, huh? I knew I might outlive you guys, but not this soon. So how about this? Me and you will work on a way to prolong your life. Wait, what? I don't want to lose you, Kirishima. As he kisses her on the lips, leaving her with her thoughts all alone as he walks back home. 